you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, I was making some vitamin C serum and um, I thought I'd jump on, jump on here and tell you why it's so good. Um, I think it's a wonderful product and I use it because um, there's a lot of research on vitamin C um, and so it's actually proven that it helps your skin, it helps it um, stay more youthful, it's good for the texture of your skin, um, it diminishes wrinkles, it helps with collagen, evens out skin tone, so it's a very good product to use. Um, if you use it during the day, it helps um, any future damage and combine it with a sunscreen, um, you have a a great product because um, not only are you taking care of past damage but you're also taking care of future damage um, okay so a lot of people may argue that if you take vitamin C um, internally that that should be enough well you would think so unfortunately though um, when we do consume it internally, um, it, there's only a small percentage that actually make it to your skin. So the effects just don't get to our skin. So it, that's why it's so important to apply vitamin C topically to our skin. Um, because not only, like I explained to you, um, we have a lot of free radicals that are in our environment and it does cause oxidative stress. So oxidative stress causes damage to our protein, our skin being a protein, um, the vitamin C helps with that and um, you get all these benefits. Um, what else can I tell you about vitamin C? We, with vitamin C, there's a sweet spot. So um, products that are percentage between I think it's eight and 20% are the best for our skin. Um, anything above 20% um, will cause, well, especially to people who haven't used it before, will cause irritation um, and so it's not a good look. Um, so if you're, because a lot of the shops or marketing um, will try and promote, you know, uh, vitamin C serums that are above 20%, you know, they think that more of a good thing is better when in actual fact it's not. There is a sweet spot, the, you know, the 8 to, to 20%, anything above that will cause problems to our skin. So keep that in mind. Um, yes, yeah, so vitamin C, thumbs up. Um, I use um, a nice recipe which I found from one of, I'll put down where I found it. I can't remember up the top of my head. Um, I'm not sure if I can find it, but you know, I have changed it to suit myself. Um, so with my vitamin C, um, I use 20%, like I said to you, two teaspoons of absorbic acid powder. So I use that, six teaspoons of distilled water, um, you can use rose water if you want. Some people prefer the rose water. It hides the smell because it's got a, a very instinct, particular smell. Some people may not like it. And I use two teaspoons of glycerine. Um, so glycerin or glycerine, whatever you like to call it, um, it has, when you use that, it's quite nice because it smooths onto your skin. It's, you know, it, leaves a nice moisturized layer but i like to um you know like go one step above that and i use hyaluronic acid powder in my ingredients so it um, turns my liquid into a nice serum so when you're applying it it's actually a lovely feel um, especially in western australia or well, australia we have quite a dry climate um, and if you combine it at night with um, moisturiser, it's very hydrating. And, and as we all know, hyaluronic acid is so good for our skin. Um, and if we're using it during the day, combining it with sunscreen is excellent. So if you like hearing about, you know, products that you can make at home, which makes it a whole lot cheaper, but it's not too complicated to put together, I can show you many recipes that you can, you know, put together yourself. 
um, or you like to hear about um, DIY procedures that I do. I'm pretty extreme with some of them, but I really enjoy it. I try not to do anything um, that I feel is too dangerous on myself. I research everything that I do um, and uh, don't do anything that I'm not comfortable with. So if you like to hear about that kind of stuff, like and subscribe to my channel because I'd love to have you here and I look forward to seeing you in the future.